I want to show you another tool that you can use when you're blending. So right now we've created our um, values up above. And the second part of this project is that we're going to be creating a shadow. So we're going to start out by creating a couple of forms. So I did an oval here, two lines coming down from it, and a curve. And so that would be a, a nice cylinder. A circle, I'm going to turn that into a sphere. And I'll do a cube over here. You can draw those right now. So a square, diagonal lines, and then the back line. Behind that, I want you to put a line, a horizon line. Let you see right there. And then indicate where your light source is going to be coming from. And I have this little light up here. Yours can just be an X if you want. Just so that we know where the light is coming from. Once you have this, I want you to rest your pencil again. We're going to be creating value by blending first, and I'm going to show you a new tool that you might find useful when you're working on this. Because the light is shining on this cylinder over here, this side is going to be very, very light value. And over here on the opposite side, we're creating our dark values. Somewhere in the middle, we have mid-tones or mid-values. Now, after blending, so I just used my pencil, you can use a tool called a blending stump. Uh, blending stumps come in many different sizes. And as you can see, they do get pulled apart. I would prefer you not to be pulling them apart. They're rolled up paper, basically. Um, you're going to see where the paper ends. Please don't pull on that. And I have found that the ones with the real, like, that are kind of dirty already, they work really well because they already have graphite on them. Now, this just helps blend your graphite. So I'm going from dark, 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 bringing it over here to my light, and I want to want you to watch, even in the places that I didn't go on, now I'm using the blending stump very lightly, and it creates a value. So now I've brought it all around. I'm also going to go up here, and I like thinking about the shape that I'm coloring in or blending. So since I was doing an oval here, that was the shape that I was working on. There's different sizes of blending stumps. So if you have a real tight area, a small space, um, you can use a different uh, blending stump. Now I'm going to bring the, va the value or the shadow back. Now this means that this light was probably out here facing towards it. It doesn't really look like that, but we're going to pretend. And it hits the line at an angle and then goes vertical. Yep, so we're pretending that this is a wall. And the importance of that is this is going to become important when we do our shadow in me. Once you hit that horizon line, that's where you go up, you go vertical. Same thing here with your sphere on the opposite side, your dark, dark values, somewhere in the mid-tones, medium values, and then very, very light up at the top. So again, blend that all together using your blending stumps. I want you to try these um, tools out.